Hello Strangelings and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be kind of a mini-series and if it turns into something bigger that will be awesome. If not, then a mini-series it shall be. But you probably clicked on here because you want to know how to find a sick pair of shoes for $4. Because heels like this, like this, do not normally go for $4. Heels like this usually don't even exist, period, when you walk into a local store. Where I live in the mountains, we have a Walmart. We have a small mall that has a Belk and a TJ Maxx and we used to have a JCPenney but I'm not sure if it's still there or not. That's pretty much it and you don't find stuff like this at Walmart. So where do you find something like it? Well, thrift store. Two words that you need to know for your cosplay and modeling needs or even just your everyday is the thrift store. The thrift store is something that in the past has had a really bad stigma against it because for some reason in a lot of teen TV shows the popular girls are richy rich types who have to have the dress that's in season, in style, um, as a certain color or style or whatever for the, the formal coming up, and then they get rid of it as soon as it's out of style anymore. Um, that's not really how the real life works for us everyday uh, folks. We go to sometimes Old Navy when they have 30% off sales or 50% off dress sales and buy what we might need, but then when it comes time for this, which is spring cleaning season, you are wiping out your wardrobe. You are getting rid of anything that you haven't worn for about a year. You are looking to add more different pieces to it. If you have any kind of a job change where you need to have nicer clothes, you're going to focus more so on the nicer stores like Kohl's or JCPenney that aren't too expensive, but still have the nice slacks or button downs that you might need for like an office setting versus, you know, a fast food uniform etc. So if you have not tried to go to the Goodwill, I highly recommend you do so. A lot of the times if you're going to plan out a shoot, if you're very new first off to modeling, if you would like to start modeling, if you would like to start, it's not going to be necessarily calling yourself a model when you have one shoot that's done by a professional photographer. That's not what makes a model. Models usually end up getting published having a whole portfolio of professional work and are not only seeking out better photographers to increase their portfolio, but they are also um, being sought out by other photographers, probably newbies, to put them in the portfolio because it will help add to what they're starting up. So if you are interested in getting in front of the camera, even if it's for a one-time thing for fun, I highly suggest you go to the thrift store. Go to Goodwill, go to the Salvation Army, check out what they have because you have no idea what you're going to find there. I went in there looking for a dress because I was going to do a Mavis costume from Hotel Transylvania. All I needed was a sweater dress and tights. I, you know, my hair is dark right now. I figured I could either style it and I also have a black wig if not. I have vampire teeth. Her makeup is very easy to do. It's a couple pieces for a, like a Friday at a con because it's not going to be a big day. It's kind of the first starting off day. The vendor's room won't be open for very long, but it'll be a recognizable costume that everyone would know. So I went over there looking for a dress, and I always look at the shoes because, you know, I'm a girl. That's actually one of the things I do obsess over. I didn't for a long time. I had maybe a pair of sneakers, a pair of boots, and a pair of sandals that I never wore, and that was it. But as I've done more photo shoots, there are the shoes that I favor, um, that I wear all the time, and I'm always looking for new ones to add to that collection um, and add a different look to it. So while looking at the shoes, I saw these crazy ridiculous shoes and I tried them on and of course they fit. I was like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> but I couldn't find the second one because I think somebody had probably hidden it somewhere in the store, figuring they were going to come back later to get it. And I was bound to determine because I could not shut up about these shoes. They were $4.29, which is pretty darn cheap. I love buying shoes at Goodwill. I've bought all my Oxford style and my saddle shoes at Goodwill because I love the way that they look. And they had Whoever had donated their shoes, I wanted to meet them and demand that they have smaller feet <laughs> because they had some amazing heels that were there, black and white, Oxford style shoes that I have, that's like my dream pair of shoes, but it was a size 8 and I'm a size 7 or 6.5 wide, so they were way too big and I was not able to purchase them. They're still there <sighs> and I'm hoping every time I go in that they'll change and be my size, but it's not going to happen. Anyway, I went in again. I think I found these. Friday. I went back in on Monday and they had found the other one and put them together in the back. But I didn't want to walk around with them because, I don't know, they I, it's kind of silly because they're not really everyday shoes and a lot of people can't walk in them. So why would you purchase them? Um, and of course I'm in a college town so there's a lot of sororities and girls that go out partying so I'm guessing that was 
one of the reasons that those shoes were there was something that they thought looked really cool, probably turned out to be impractical, and they were like, spring cleaning time, I gotta get rid of them. So I looked for a couple other pieces for a different costume that I'm working on. I'll do a cost test of it soon. And I walked back and I was like, well, if those shoes are still there in an hour, no one else has tried them on or moved them around, then they're destined to be mine. So I was there for actually more like an hour and a half, two hours, going through all the racks, looking through things, um, finding any new pairs of jeans that they had, etc., just for something else to add to my wardrobe. I went over there and I got them, and the girl at the counter was like, as much as you talked about these on Friday, I'm not surprised you came back for them. They are sick. I was like, I know. And when I got home, the first thing I did was put them on and take Snapchats of them and send them to all my friends because I was super excited because they were so cute. And I can walk in them. That was huge. I mean, I have not tried work, walking, walking on concrete or anything difficult. I've just walked back and forth in my living room, which is carpeted. But I could do it, and I was dang proud of that fact. <laughs> anyway, the whole point of this video is to do an introduction to thrift stores. I'm going to do a mini-series, like I said, about a couple of the other outfits that I've gotten during photo shoots um, and purchased at the Goodwill, how much I paid for them, how much they would be normally, if I can find all that information, depending on what the brands of them are, and what you guys hopefully can comment below with all the different Goodwill and thrift store finds that you have found throughout the years, because I highly recommend and believe in the Goodwill. Um, now, I'm not saying, you know, if there is an outfit that comes out, that's, you know, a $35 dress at Hot Topic that you just have to have, go for it. If you can afford it and you want to use it just for more than a shoot, you think it's cute, you'd wear it every day, buy it. I mean, you don't have to be stingy on everything. I mean, if there's something that you like, go for it if you can. But if you're looking to start out a baseline portfolio, a baseline of alternative or glamour, etc., definitely look at the Goodwill and see what they have and start building up a wardrobe so that when you have the option to do different kinds of concepts, you're not using the same dress over and over and over again because there's only so much you can do with it before it's like, okay, I've recycled this, moving on to something else. So, I don't want this video to be 10 minutes and I'm starting to ramble on and on, but Goodwill, Salvation Army, all those good places, check them out. They are amazing. You might not be able to find these shoes per se, but you're going to find something that is super cute that you can wear either every day or for that shoot they have coming up where you have some, you just see something and a concept pops in your mind like, oh, that would be so cool to do. Um, and not even just for doing modeling stuff, for cosplay. A lot of cosplayers use thrift stores to get their supplies because it's a lot easier than having to go out and order it. And yeah, they do make things into their costumes. It's not just that we buy fabric and you know patterns off the top of our heads and sew things together and bam, it's done. A lot of people can do that. I am not one of those people. I can take a piece of clothing and I can alter it the way I want it to look, turning a dress into a vest kind of thing, or taking um, a top and altering it the way I want it to look, like band tees, um, to look more like oh, you would at like a festival. But that's like the limit I have on sewing and hemming things. So I usually try to go for um, like my Kakashi outfit. I found the turtleneck shirt that I'm going to cut the sleeves off and hem them. There was a gray vest that I can use to do his Ombu Black Ops outfit. Um, I had the wig already. The only thing I'm looking for is the mask. The mask isn't that expensive as a, of a component as would be, you know, buying the entire, you know, $80, $90 costume off of CosplayMagic.com. And that's $80, $90 I don't have anymore when I could have just gone to Goodwill and spent about 15 and put together about 80% of the outfit. So... These are the things to think about when you're getting into cosplay and modeling or even just your everyday look if you wanted to add to it. You never know what you're going to find. So do your research, check out as many as you can, and don't give up because you will find something awesome. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment below with your amazing Goodwill finds because I would love to know what you guys have found and where. Um, have a great day. Bye.